Last night was a rough one. Caitlin was pretty emotional. I was the most nervous and uncomfortable I've been at a rose ceremony. I'm definitely in a tough spot. This is the most important week yet. It's the week before hometowns, and we had just talked about taking a step back. So it's tough to take a step back right before hometowns, but it's something we need to do. Big yeah. week for every single one of us. Excited to see Caitlin. Oh, the devil. The reason this week is so big is because getting a rose means I like you so much I want to meet your family. So her roses mean more than ever. Can you stay for a road trip, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to Killarney. Yeah. Killarney, yeah. Let's do this. Now we get to go see the countryside, and I thought, why not make a date of it? Yeah. Yeah. So some of you will enjoy this beautiful bus. But Jared, you want to hop in with me? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, <laughs> okay, awesome. I'm super pumped. I get to drive to Killarney, Ireland with Caitlin right now. So uh, yeah, get this time alone, which is awesome. See you guys. I'll see you there. Sounds and enjoy good. your road trip. See you there. All right. All right, Thank you. All the guys here are a little envious of Jared right now. Kind of cool to take a road trip with someone you really like. And I'm not excited to be on a road trip with four guys at all. I don't know how you're doing this two times. I can barely do it once. I don't know. <laughs> After all the drama that went on last week, Jared's the perfect guy to take a road trip with. This is probably going to be the nicest drive of our lives. Nice? Oh, well, yeah, in terms of scenic, not in terms of company. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. You're the nicest. You're the sweetest You're guy the ever. You're the best. <laughs> you definitely just hit that curb. What? I you, did? You totally just hit that. Shut up. Okay, I feel oh. <laughs> Caitlin's have a little difficulty behind the wheel. She hit the curb, I think, approximately three times. Oh, God. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. <laughs> if Jared and I can get through this road trip on the other side of the road <laughs> while I'm panicking, we can get through anything. make believe that people live here. I know. It's almost too beautiful. Yeah. The countryside of Ireland is beautiful and breathtaking, but it would be just a little less if Caitlin wasn't next to me, experiencing it with me. Let's take a selfie. Let's take a selfie. All ready? We're experiencing new things for the first time together, and that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cute. That's cute. Really grounded and just feels so real, you know, with my girlfriend and we're road tripping. And to be able to experience that with Caitlin is amazing. Would you rather be in here or on the bus with the guys? That's a that's a no tough brainer. question. That's a that's a no brainer. <laughs> no, of course. I'm so glad you picked me to drive with you. I was like, oh, I gotta share the bus with these. <laughs> no. This is beautiful. So we drive up this road and we reach the Blarney Castle, which is awesome. And at the top, there's like the Blarney Stone. Yes, I know the Blarney Stone. Yeah. You know, the famous Blarney Stone is at the top of the castle, and everyone knows that you kiss it for good luck. That's kind of what it's known for. Oh my gosh, look! So this is the Blarney Stone. Perfect. What I didn't realize is that we had to lie down and, and bend back and you're nine, 10 stories up. What if we fall? We're not going to fall. This is a pretty intense moment. Oh, my <laughs> god. Oh, my <laughs> god. Oh my god. Are you ready? I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to choke on my own vomit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. You know, not everybody gets to have a moment where they're kissing the Blarney Stone with the girl that they're falling in love with. <laughs> to be able to do that and experience that moment with Caitlin is amazing. I got lucky in Ireland, absolutely. Wow. So we pull up to Bally City Castle, which is the hotel that Caitlin is staying at, and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I'm staying in a castle, like a legit castle. 
I mean, it's stunning to look at, and it's apparently haunted. The queen has been here. You can just feel the history in this hotel. This is me. Thank you. Oh, wow. It was a really good road trip. It was nice to not focus on the drama with Nick and Sean, and just kind of enjoy my time with Jared. And I mean, it's not a legit road trip unless you end it with a cocktail. I feel like I really know who Keelan is in terms of who she is as a person, and that's the most important thing to me. I feel like we're very similar in that. We're both very transparent and very genuine and like to laugh and just like to be sarcastic and make fun of each other. And I love our chemistry. I love our banter. I just love being with Keelan. Thank you, sir. Wow. Take care. This is cool. Oh, nice. This is great. This feels like Ireland. Yeah. We arrive in Killarney. The town is extremely beautiful because while it's clearly old, it's very well kept, and there's beautiful churches and hotels. This is what my soul looks like. This feels like home. Put that down there, boys. Finally, we come to the Randall's Court Hotel, and it kind of fits the city. It has a very old, homey feel to it. You know, very storybook-esque. That is gorgeous. Hometowns, they're close. Luckily, I'm very confident that what Caitlin and I have is good. But it is a big week, because if I have a rose, I'm gonna be leaving this rose ceremony knowing that my family will soon meet Caitlin, which is big to me. All right, I gotta go. Okay. All right, bye. Yep. Hi, Sipo. Welcome to your Every moment that I spend with Jared, I feel like our relationship okay. just gets stronger and stronger. Like, I can see him as my husband. All right. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Sleep well. I had such a great day with Jared, such a fun road trip. I feel like I got back on track tonight, and I'm just feeling really happy in this moment. Like, nothing can go wrong.